Hello everyone and welcome to some gameplay of the newest killer to Dead by Daylight, The Blight. In our lobby we have three console players and one PC player, so we'll see how it goes. I have his three unique perks on and a survivor pudding for those extra dead points. Oh, well, why would they use three shrouds? I guess they used... Oh, one of the shrouds got thrown away so it didn't get used, but anyway. They probably use spawn together and spawn as far as possible from the killer. So it's potentially a four-man swift, given that they stacked those offerings. And I only have the Blight's three unique perks, because uh, I'm gonna try for Adept, so we'll see how it goes. Ooh, when we get bottom preschool, yeah. I'm pretty sure they said that bottom preschool and um, the Yamaka estate has higher chance to spawn because... Okay, they're probably over here. They see an aura. Oh, thank you, Hex. She went upstairs. She's looping. She drops. She's a stealthy Meg, but she doesn't know what she's doing. Running around the edges of the map there, not good for you. So what do you guys think of the Blight so far? Have you had a chance to play against him? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? You think you, just cause you're Claudette you can hug corners, huh? I thought I swung! Well, I was on the inside, so it's okay. They say, but it's okay. I'm just to uh, grab her and then head over there. They must have healed. Yep. Lag? That was weird. I'm like rubber banding a little bit. Oh, giant lag spike. Sorry. <laughs> Got him. I feel like they made the rush a lot easier to aim now. Are you gonna jump? Predicted! So predictable. Okay, where did you crawl off to, Maggie Boo? There you go. Chase music? They did make this power a lot easier to aim with. Before on the PTB, I could not hit anybody with it. I pressed the button! They seem really butthurt for totems for some reason. When it's just Hex Undying and Hex Blood Favor. Is anyone around my totem? Yeah. They're back here somewhere. Did they go to Killer Shack?
I saw the scratch marks fade. They're probably gonna go for save. If you can get the hang of his power, you can probably, like, get across the map pretty easily. I feel like they made his, uh, dash last a bit longer now, too. So they insta-save everyone else, but when it comes to Jane, they're not gonna insta-save her? Survivors, man. Are they, like, paranoid about hexes? I don't hear anyone on a gen over here. Well, they save her now, but she's dead hook. Oh look, they're crawling to the- they're running along the left here. <laughs> Hi Jane, what's up? Not gonna hook her yet. Oh, crows are running over here. But we have no idea where she went. Oh, there you are. Okay then. must be the PC player. But she runs away from the pallets. Another lag spike. The one downside of the graphic update. Got him! Looks like they healed her. So let's go back over here. She's AFK? Okay. It's fine. Let's try and get this person. Because I know the Meg sucks at running, or whoever this is. Pulling a double back on me? Oh, it's the Claudette. Easy peasy. I don't think I hooked Claudette yet, so we're good to hook her. You see any auras? Is anyone hanging around my hooks? So I think the Blight is a bit better than he was on the PTB. However, why would you play the Blight when you can like play Leatherface or someone else that's way better at doing dash hits, you know? She healed. So she's either going for save or going for Jane. And I didn't crash, okay. Let's go after her. Cause she is the more problematic. Yeah, you can't pull the pallet, dead hard. Okay, no dead hard. I'm letting the other ones get away because they're not that good. So I'm gonna catch them anyway. And I need more points because for add up you need to double pip, so... We let them get away for now. Pretty sure they ran down here. Not. They did perform a good heal, so they probably ran off to the corner or something, healed up, and then they're probably healing the other person now. So they're doing a little double healy action. -y. The good double heal action. 
Oh, well, let's maybe get some use of dragon's grip here. Oh, whoever's here is injured, though. Nice. What a pro play there. That was like the most unsafe pallet on the map. You see how short this loop is, guys? That pallet is super unsafe, like, throwing it, she just put herself in more danger. So, that's not the play there. Not the play. Someone's doing this gen, though. Let me see if I can catch them. Good job, Jane. Now we go back to the hook. Oh, really? Claudia didn't pull the fast save this time? You know this Claudia is like super immersed. Are you hiding over here, Claudia? In your little hidey hole? Maybe I shoulda... Shoulda went for Claudia here. I heard breathing. She is super immersed. This Claudette is so immersed. She's playing the role of a true Claudette here. Ooh, and they just failed a skill check. I know where you are. Oh, nothing to run into. She's at the pallet. Oh, uh, there's no pallet here. Am I stupid? Okay, we'll just block this window. Or not. Yeah, fake the window. Ooh. And that's the game, boys and girls. That is the new and improved Blight boy for ya. Let's see if we get our Adept. I think I drew that out pretty long. So yeah, they kind of made his, um, so how can I explain this? He made his dash. His dash used to be like Billy. Oh, awesome, we got out of Blight first try. Easy peasy. But he, his dash used to be like Billy, where he could like only go forward and move side to side a little bit. But now his dash is like the Legion dash and Leatherface dash where like he can go forwards and then he can also like have free reign of turning and that makes his power a lot easier to aim and a lot easier to deal with. And right here we got green ranks and purple ranks so they're not rank 20s which means this was a well-deserved adept, okay? And yep, we got Shroud of Union, start the trial of someone else, start the trial as far as possible start the trials fall far as possible. So maybe they weren't a complete swift, but they could have been like a two-man at least because they use this and this. But anyways, I don't want to leave you guys with just one game, so I'll do one more game of The Blight. Alright, we got Mother's Dwelling. Now the perks I have are the best I could scrounge up because, as we all know, when you level up a killer, you don't get the best perks. You just kind of get whatever, and if you're lucky, you're lucky. What? Freaking, why are you, you uh, I'm speechless. Use your dead hard. Dead hard, dead hard, dead hard, good job. That dead hard really helped you out, buddy. Really helped you out. Can get a free hit on Adium. He's gonna. I don't think that was the play, Adam. 
Camping the door was not the play there. Um, you know why it's not the play? Because you don't have balanced landing. Well, uh, we're off to a rocky start for the survivors here. Right off the bat, they just get found and not in a good position here. Hey, David, you think you're so cool with your dead heart? Oh, I, you're running a meta perk? This is why dead heart sucks. It's easy. Too easy for killers to counter it. Sure, you can use it to get to pallets, but you can use sprint burst and light to get to pallets, too. So you have another pop goes the weasel here. We're not on... Aw, oh, I'm dumb. I thought... Oh, I wanted to hit her. Well, let's go ahead and get rid of the progress here, if my character will freaking work. <laughs> Why were you there? There's no window! Okay, I am not that great with this power yet. I thought I had the lethal dash up. Breakdown, huh? Well, he outplayed me. Oh, I had to do the fast clicks there. Dear dead hard. Are you gonna dead hard on your borrowed time? He did dead hard on his borrowed time. He's dumb. We have to tunnel him for that. And he camps pallets, man. What's going on over here? Oh, it's Adam again. Are you gonna camp the door again, Adam? No, he's just gonna run down this time. Ooh, and the same two survivors going down in an. Well, we have to uh, focus David because. So I knew there was a pal there, right? I'm not gonna look at your stupid flashlight, Meg. What are these survivors doing? Oh, she has dead heart. Are you gonna shine at me again? I don't really care they got him up. Here, we'll let them have their time, okay? I really want to slug her and chase them, but... They're not doing too hot. Well, I guess they did get two gens done. But we'll hook her. Then we'll go across the map. Okay, looks like they don't have much progress on this at all. But I can still put my dragon's grip on it. Okay, they double healed somewhere. I would assume somewhere in the back here. Oh, they were right behind me! Oh, I I feel like with the blight I'm just like swinging, but I'm not ever sure if I'm actually going to hit someone. I'm surprised I actually got the hit there. Wow. No, no, no. Do you have uh, the, the borrow time? No. Oh, lag. I'm so sorry for the lag, everyone. I need a new GPU, and that's why I lag, but nevertheless, I power through. The main reason I hooked her is because she has a flashlight and she keeps trying to blind me with it, which is just kind of a little annoying and you have to nip those in the butt. Let's try and get pop on this thing right here. Pop plus the dragon thingy. I 
I bet you know who Adam or whatever. Oh. We're immediately going for the save. Cool. I hit her when she was behind me. Okay. I'll go after Bill though. Cut him off. Yeah, he doesn't look. Oh, he's looking now. He's looking now. Dead hard, dead hard, dead hard. No, no dead hard. Okay, we'll hook good old Billy boy. While Meg is busy mending. There she goes, she mended. Like a good little survivor there. Probably still somewhere nearby. I'm pretty sure Adam is on this gen. Ooh. Getting so many of the of the hits this game. Let's go pop this. So uh, Blight can definitely get some BS hits on you guys. So be very cautious of that. But it's good to see that they did improve- what? What is Bill doing here? <laughs> lag, 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 I'm so sorry! Oh my gosh, what are these survivors doing? You know, I knew I wasn't gonna make that hit, but I might as well try, you know? Nice slow vault there. He paused for no reason. The build did. If the build did a fast fall, he probably would have been fine. But actually, probably not. I heard someone. I see the scratch mark. I was going to hook her and then I heard a <clears throat> Is he going for Bill? Oh, he messed up. I think he was going to take the hit. Okay. Yeah, he was trying to loop me around a little piece of log. What? Oh. Ah. And Meg with the clutch unbreakable here. I'm not gonna let them get away with that though. No unbreakables on my watch, buddy. We're we going the same loop here. Are you gonna go up the stairs? Okay, I was not expecting him to run straight into me, guys, so it kind of surprised me. Okay, I have no idea what I'm doing, guys. It freaking took the longest way possible to this. Adam might wiggle out, which is why I'm picking him up. What is with this hang? I press the button. Press the button. Now, guys, do you remember where Meg went down? I'm blind. Or short-term memory. That bill. I made such a good predict on the bill that it made me completely forget where Meg went down. Even though I have infectious fright and heard her scream. Okay. Well, there you have it. <laughs> Two unbreakables. I figured Bill had unbreakable as well, so I wanted to hook him. Didn't want to leave him on the ground, but the Meg was a surprise. Oh, someone had deliverance, but I think he's the one that got hooked first. Unless that's the Adam. Well, he still got hooked first, one of the first two. But look at this David, Urban Evasion. So he's an immersed David. Look, Iron Will, Urban Invasion. Super immersed. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. The newest killer, the Blight. He is improved from the public test build because it is a lot easier to get 
lethal dash, or I mean, lethal rush hits now with his power. And they kind of improved the auto aiming, I feel, and it just it just feels better. However, he still can get pallet looped. There is nothing he can do at Windows, so I still think he is a weak killer. But at least you can actually hit with his lethal rushes now. So everybody, I hope you enjoyed the gameplay. Let me know in the comments below what you think of the Blight, of any perk builds you think would be good on the Blight, or if you are having fun with the Blight, or how you like playing against the Blight. Anything about the new chapter, feel free to comment below. Remember to give the video a like if you enjoyed, and subscribe for more Dead by Daylight content if you aren't already. And if you want to support the channel even more, then smash that join button. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, good luck out there in the fog, and see you next time.